Yesterday marked the one year anniversary of Diablo 4, and I want to congratulate Activision Blizzard for one year of Diablo 4. It was a bumpy road, no doubt about it. But you know what they say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And I have to say, Season 4 is the most enjoyable time I've had playing Diablo 4. It's the most time I've played in any season of Diablo 4. So I wanted to make a video on that and acknowledge the fact that we now have been playing Diablo 4 for one year. Well, some of us, that is. But I also wanted to talk about my personal journey as well with Diablo 4 and my Diablo 4 community. So if you'll indulge me, I want to do a little bit of reflection. Now, a couple of months before the launch of Diablo 4, I launched my career as a content creator on YouTube. And I have to say, it's been one hell of a journey. For those of you that continue to support my content, thank you so much. In I would have never in a million years have guessed that I would have this kind of success that I've been having with my content on YouTube. So thank you. Now, we are a itty bitty, tiny weeny, is that a word? channel in the internet space we're a small little guy i'm talking about my content and we have a ways to go a lot to do but i'm looking forward to that climb and i do want to say a couple of things to tie it back to diablo 4 now i have over 200 videos on diablo 4 and a lot of people take my personal opinion and thoughts on Diablo 4 as criticism of Diablo 4 and as I'm a Diablo 4 hater. Well, I want to set the record straight. First of all, you can have your opinions. It's your opinion. You're entitled to it. You can say whatever you want. But that also gives me the right to say what the truth is because I know what the truth is. And the reality of it is, I am not a Diablo 4 hater. I don't want to see the game fail. But what I what I am is someone that's honest and is going to give you my honest take on whatever game I'm talking about. Good, bad, or indifferent. So, if you want to argue with me and tell me that I'm a D4 hater, well... You're talking to a wall because that argument, you're going to lose seven days a week, 365 days a year, because that's not, that's the furthest from the truth. And what backs up that statement is the fact that I'm currently playing Diablo 4 in season four and have been playing it every day since the launch of Diablo 4. Now, why am I playing Diablo 4? Because it's actually good now it's not perfect there's a lot of things that need to be fixed about the game but i'm enjoying playing it knowing that there's still improvements to be made but my point is i want to see diablo 4 succeed i actually like the game i actually think the game has has something that could be a game that all of us could grind and play for many, many, many years. So spare me the comments about you're just a D4 hater. You know what the truth of it is? The fact is that you're a D4 fanboy. And when I say this needs improving in Diablo 4, your mind can't handle the fact that someone is talking bad about the game that you endear and love. Well, you know what? Just because I raise things that need to be addressed doesn't mean I hate the game. And sorry, I can't control you being so sensitive to people actually saying, taking a good look at the game and saying, I think this might need some adjusting. Now, if that rubs you the wrong way, well, like I said, I can't control you being sensitive. So I want to put this BS to rest. I like Diablo 4. 
I'm a D4 cheerleader. And when I critique or say this needs improving or a video of mine is like, is what's going on? That doesn't translate to this game is trash. All right. So like the end of my all of my videos say, get over it. I actually think I'm doing bringing some value to the game by raising these highlights. Because if we don't raise the issues and people talk about it, nothing gets done. So you're welcome would be nice. Sorry, a thank you would be nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little pushy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. That 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 is a little pushy. I don't want to thank you. Okay. And you know what? I understand this is the internet and there's trolls out there and all they do is go on everyone's channels and just try to flame the fire. I, I, I get it. I'm a big guy. I have thick skin. I can handle it. But don't dare tell me what I can talk about and what I can say. It's my opinion and my channel. I can talk about whatever I want. That's what I can control. You can control what you watch and don't watch. And another topic, since we're talking about anniversaries, because I've come a long way, and a lot of the criticisms that I've criticisms that I've received about my content, a lot of it is true. Not a lot of it. Some of it is true. Um, I got. I've come a long way with my content, uh, and I still got to go a long way. I'm. I'm the. I'm my worst. Uh, critiquer, okay? I'm always looking at my content and how things can improve. So I appreciate all the negative comments as well because it helps me grow. Like Michael Jordan said, what was your biggest learning experience in your career? And he's like, all the shots I missed. So I take the same approach. I look at some of the videos I did when I first started and I'm like, how? Did people watch this? My most popular Diablo 4 video has not almost 9,000 views. And I watched it the other day and I'm like, how did this video get 9,000 views? I'm talking like this. I'd, I'm talking so slow, which is a huge critique of my content. And I hope you guys have all noticed over time that I've gotten a little bit better. Now, I do want to say, I am not going to be a one of these guys for you guys that have, you know, you have your attention span is five seconds. Sorry, I'm not going to my videos aren't going to be five seconds and I'm not going to talk at the speed of light. Sorry, I like to have conversations and unfortunately that may rub you the wrong way because I don't talk a million words a minute. That's not the way I talk in real life. And that's not the way I'm going to talk in my videos because I want to trace, I want to stay true to myself. So sorry if my videos to you may be one, two, five, ten 10 minutes more than they should have and that I didn't get to the point quick enough. But just let you know, I do listen to some of the critiquing and thank you, by the way. I want to thank everyone that has injected that criticism is a bad choice of words, but critiquing my content because it helps me. So thank you. So Diablo 4 and me, I got onto the scene a couple of months before, before Diablo 4, but I have grown and alongside Diablo 4 in the one year. My channel is just, we just celebrated a year a couple of months ago. Uh, which I didn't do a video on. I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to celebrate that. I thought it was a little bit. You know, I, I I'm not a rah rah. Yeah, look at me, look at me kind of guy. Uh, but I do want to say we just passed one year, and what a year it's been for my channel. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to the future. Like I said before, but Diablo Four. That's what I want to talk about more about. Diablo Four, Season Four, Epic. It's going to be interesting to see what happens moving forward. 
the expansion i think is going to be potentially another game changer but i do want to say year one of diablo 4 what a shame it could have been a 360 degree difference if what we have today in season four was what the game launched with we would have had a different year there would have been no d4 bad memes we wouldn't have went through the erosion of players in this game unfortunately for blizzard the one year that's transpired in the first year of diablo 4 has pissed off a small percentage of the player base that they will never come back they are gone see you later sayonara they're not coming back now i believe in second chances sometimes third chances and i do want diablo 4 to succeed so i gave it a chance and when the game was boring season one season two season three i just left i stopped playing it i played other games and i would come back if anything interesting and that's what happened in season four and i haven't left i've been playing every day so i hope blizzard if you're listening continue the double use now you got to address the end game yes there's a lot of other things that can be addressed better quality of life skills paragon boards that needs to be addressed some people will argue the tempering and masterworking needs to be looked at guys bricking items is is natural in arpgs now could they maybe you know make it better yes but we don't want guaranteed rules when it comes to tempering and master working so it's a very fine line i'm okay with bricking items just blizzard i don't understand why you make can you make it less obvious that it's rigged at least like when i'm tempering and the and the role is the same affix over and over and then you you get the feeling that it's rigged like can you at least mix it up even though i'm not going to get the affix i want at the end but if i see a different role every time i hit to temper then at least i can think okay the game is searching for the proper affix but you get the same affix three times in a row four th that to me seems like okay uh, this is another bricked item so I don't know, maybe aesthetically fix so it rolls through the affixes on that temper manual and not the same one over and over. Little things like that. But I'm okay with items getting bricked because it makes you play the game and chase and get another item. and try. So there's that process. I think it's needed in any ARPG. Um, the only thing is, like I said, make it look like at least it's rolling through all the different affixes in the temper manual. To at least give it a facade that we might have a chance so season four everything is good leveling to 100 amazing but now look from the launch of the game to season three the issue was the end game and it took forever to level 100 and of course i'm not talking about quality of life that could be another three hours but that was the problem. Now in season four, you can get to level 100 in like six hours. I don't know. I think Rax did it in five and a half hours. Um, so everyone's going to be level 100. So when you remove the problem of leveling to 100 and now you get to 100, well, now you start focusing on the end game. And when you're focusing on the end game, this game doesn't have it. Sure, you can test your build on the pit. There are things to do, but really this game, still, there's the same content that we're doing over and over. Helltides, which are now being done more because they are a lot more fun, but when you're rolling alts and playing this game every day, it gets monotonous. Uh, Helltides, Nightmare Dungeons, and now the pits. Okay, ladder bosses, torment bosses. Not enough end game. This is the problem with Diablo 4 because now everyone want, everyone's getting to 100 quicker. What do you do post 100? That's the end game. Well, this is what's popping up in everyone's face. Oh my God, there's like hell tides, you know? 
The pit, okay, you test your build on the pit. There's not enough end game. So they need to address that next, um, amongst other things. The problem has shifted. Leveling was the problem. And the fact that we were running the same content and content and content and over. Now, getting to 100 is quicker, but we're still running the same stuff. Yes, they've added bosses, the boss ladder. They've added torment bosses and the pit. But end game is still lacking. So it'll be interesting to see what Blizzard does with the end game. And I personally think what is a perfect link, and I said this in another video, they got itemization, beautiful foundation. Everyone's having a lot of fun. It provides a chase for players and a purpose for players to grind. I think in season five, if they can address skills, the skill tree and the Paragon board, because guys, you guys can tell me there's class ver there's class variety, there's different build. You know what? Everybody's playing the same builds within the classes. Look at all the hot bars on all the different builds for every class. They utilize the same skills, okay? There's no diversity with builds. There isn't, and there hasn't been. And this puny little skill tree that we have, 50 points, the Paragon board, like it, they need to fix that. And I think that would be a good link to what's coming in the Vessel of Hatred. Anyway, that's my thought on the one year in review. Look, guys, we finally have a video game in Diablo 4. This version of Diablo 4 in Season 4, this is what the game should have been at launch. But we can't correct the past. We can only talk about the future. And that leads me to the future. I have one comment about the future, and that is... One year, Diablo 4 has been in existence. And in that one year, the first nine months of that game, the devs of Diablo 4 only did what they thought was right and did not listen to the player base. It wasn't until the last three months of the first year, that being season four, that we finally, they finally said we're going to listen to the player base more not just say yeah we we value your feedback they've been saying that forever but talk is cheap you got to walk the walk and they didn't walk the walk until season four and actually prior to season four when they did the ptr that's when we knew they hey oh my god they're finally listening so my one year in review, last take for the future, Blizzard, please, for all of our sanities, if there's one thing that you can take away from your one year anniversary and looking back and seeing what needs to be improved for your second year of Diablo 4, that is the fact that for nine months you did it your way and it didn't go good wasn't pleasant you had three horrible seasons well, okay season two was meh it was good it was okay okay but when you listened to the players of this game you you had them test stuff through the ptr and you finally listened the kicking and screaming everybody's been complaining about itemization and the loot forever then you finally listened and you put that in the game and you stopped nerfing everything, look what you got in season four. So my two cents worth of a tip to you would be listen more to your player base. Listen more to your player base because it delivered season four for you. If you continue to use that thought process in your decision-making, I think season... Year two, when I'm doing a year two recap, will be way more good than bad because season one, one, the first year was more bad than good. But heck, like I said earlier on, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So let's hope Activision Blizzard, Diablo 4, 
that they learned a lesson in their first year and that there's nothing but good things coming down the road. Well, that'll do it, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. And as always, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help grow my channel. A lot of you, a lot of you watch my content and you don't subscribe. Why? Why? Am I that ugly? Am I that ugly? Don't answer that. Don't. I don't want to see one comment answering that question. Anyway, please subscribe. I want to do big things. And in order for me to do big things, this channel needs to continue to grow. And I would love for you to be alongside me, watching me go through that journey. We can do big things together. And for those of you that have consistently supported me on my content, come and watch my live streams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys mean the world to me. You guys know who you are. And regarding live streaming, guys, we need to push Twitch. I need to make it on Twitch. Watch me on Twitch, Sammy Caps. Please, I live stream every evening. Come and watch me struggle in Diablo 4. I play hardcore. I do play softcore, but I mainly play hardcore. And I'm going through a rut right now. I mean a major rut. So come and watch me struggle. Have a good laugh. we got an amazing community. Really chill, cool community. We would love to have you. So come on in. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.